This is Kevin Mayo, the Amazing Beer Drinking Man, and today we're doing Dogfish Head 120 Minute IPA. Now, Dogfish Head does a 60 minute, a 90 minute, and a 120 minute, and part of what they do is they try to keep the uh, ABV at 60, well, six, uh, six and nine percent. This is actually 15 to 20 percent. In the international bittering units, the IBUs, they try to keep at 60, 90, and 120. Now, I've read somewhere that your tongue can't really taste any more than 100 IBUs, so the 120 really doesn't do much more as far as bitterness. And according to Dogfish Head, you actually won't taste as much bitter in the 120 as you will in like the 60 because of un unfermented sugars that are still in it. So this one will, should be sweeter even though it's gonna have more bittering units per se. Now this is my 50th review. So that's why we're going with a special, this is a specialty beer. It's not something you would drink every day. It's definitely for a special occasion, hence our 50th review. And so this would be a good beer for a birthday. And it probably should be shared. They actually recommend that you don't drink a whole bottle of this. Again, 20%, this is a lot of, it's a lot of beer. If you like our reviews, please subscribe to our channel, leave some comments. We'd love to have friends. Let's go ahead and give this baby a pour. Lots of carbonation. Lots of carbonation. Actually, I can smell. I can smell the alcohol from here, and I can smell sweet. I can smell the sugars. Um, almost smells orangey from here. More, more orangey than actually a little grapefruit now that I think about it too. Now I really like their 60 minute a lot. I was, I like the 90 minute but not quite as much. Here's the 120. We're going to go ahead and give it a shot. It's pretty clear. I take it back. There's a little bit of haze in it. Obviously a fair amount of combination. Uh, rich Malty, not malty, but a rich, head, creamy head. A little bit off-white. Um, they actually said that you could store this for a year or two with the, all the sugar in the bottle. It actually is going to get more complex and better. I have to think about that if I can find another bottle. They're hard to find. They only brew it a couple times a year. They brew it in small batches, and it's got to meet all the requirements. Let's do an aroma on it. Pineapple. I smell pineapple. I smell the alcohol. Just a hint of the malt and sweetness in the malt. Sometimes you get the malt and you just get that malt. You have to know what I'm talking about. It's hard to describe the malt flavor, the, the grain flavor. But this is what I'm getting like, you can just almost smell the sweetness in the malt. Fairly complex. I don't have this too cold, I didn't over chill it. I figured it would bring out the most of the flavors. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Wow. Yes. I would say we're right at the edge of the 20% ABV on this one. Now, I've had a few high ABV beers that I did not like because the alcohol overwhelmed all the other tastes. I, and you do taste the alcohol up front. This is a tremendous beer. I can see why it gets all the praise out there. People love this beer. It's not something, again, not something you would drink after work to wind down or drink on a hot summer day. This is definitely a special occasion beer. Fairly light mouthfeel. Again, alcohol, burn. See, now I'm getting the alcohol with this two or three sips in a row. I'm getting more alcohol than anything. And I don't want to finish this bottle before. Otherwise, I'll be slurring my words on the video. Let's go ahead and try. I did taste, uh, I did taste a citrus. So you get the sweet, you get the citrus, you get the alcohol. And they were right. It, this is not very bitter at all. 
surprisingly unbitter for 120 IBUs. The sugar really bounces off the bitterness. So a lot of sweetness. And it doesn't really burn, but you do get the alcohol. You know, sometimes you get the you get a little bit of the burn in the back of the throat. A lot of, a lot of sweetness. A little bit of orangey uh, citrus. Um, you get a nice little, little, little bit of bitter in the after, but less bitter than you get on, on even some lagers. This is a tremendous beer. I've already said that. I'm going to give this a six cap, which is pretty rare. I don't remember the last time I did a six cap beer. Um, I would say if you could find it, try it. Share it with a friend, sip it, enjoy it, don't guzzle it, sip it and enjoy it. Until next time, this is the Amazing Beer Drinking Man.